Hi guys, you are most welcome to yet another tutorial video. If you are new here, you are most welcome. My name is Chinye Mechichi for short. And you are a subscriber. I love you. Thanks for always coming back. In this particular one, we are going to be making this particular beautiful shirt dress. I love this dress. It's super. I love the classiness. I love the elegance. Like, it's, you can dress it up, you can dress it down depending on, you know, the look you want to achieve at the end of the day. So guys, um, if you're interested in having this particular piece in your wardrobe or making it for someone else, then you are right in the right place. Or at the right place, whichever one shall, shall just know that you are in the right place. <laughs> so, with that being said, let's just dive right into the tutorial. Meanwhile, do not forget to subscribe, give this video a like, and also drop your thoughts down in the comment section below. Let's get started. So guys, this is the pattern draft tutorial for this dress. Just in case you do not, you know, you've not watched that, please just go back to the video before now. I'm going to be leaving the link in the description box as well for the pattern drafting of this shirt. So this is just all that we're involved in the pattern drafting of this dress. So just do well by clicking on that uh, video link to watch that before you come back to watch this okay so that's basically it so once again thanks for coming back and from the pattern drafting this is what we have for the pattern of this dress so we are going to be cutting on the fabric like so. as you can see i have the fabric placed on foot like so so at this part we are not going to be dividing the fabric into two we'll just leave this folded part like so as our center foot and then i place my pattern paper on it like so and then I'm going to be cutting along exactly what I have. Remember, like I would always say, I have all my seam allowances already added to the pattern already. So I'm not going to be adding anything to the main fabric itself. So in the cutting, in case you can't use your free hand to just hold your fabric and your pattern paper down, please make sure you pin it down with the help of an office pin so that it's not distorting the shape of your pattern, okay? So I have the center front marked out. So I'm going to mark uh, cutting out the side as well. So this is basically what the cutting of the side also looks like. So for this particular part of the upper part, this is just one side of it. I'm going to be cutting another one for the other side of the front, okay? That's for the left side of the front, okay? Do not do not think that because it's placed on full, that, that you don't need to cut another one. This is because I'm not using an interfacing. I am using both the main fabric for the interfacing, okay? And it is much more easier to do that because of the style. It's a, in, instead of using, you know, a regular interfacing to start turning it. But if you can go through that hassle of turning with an interfacing, please help yourself out okay but for me the easier the better so basically this is what the upper front look like and you see the placement so i have the other one placed over the other one like so i am so sure this is making a whole lot of sense already and to get started with the stitching proper you can see this is just one side of the front so i open it up like so as you can see and then i get the side and i place it by the side so i'm going to be stitching it just like you do to your regular bust here so I pick up one of the sides and I place it like so. I'm going to be stitching all the way like so to the both sides, okay? So by the time I'm done stitching, we'll see what it looks like. So this is how the stitching goes. So let's proceed to the stitching machine. So at this point, I'm done stitching both sides together and this is what it looks like, okay? And for the stitching, I used half inch to stitch all the way like so. As you can see, I used half an inch to stitch all the way. So just endeavor, you use the half an inch all the way from the down to the up part. And after that, I give it a notch and then I also proceed to ironing it so that I can um, have the bust curve, you know, uh, pro, uh, pronounced i mean or visible i don't know the word to use at this point so after that this is the upper part i come back to this upper part and then i fold it back on fold like so so in stitching this part this is what you do you stitch from here across here through here and then you stop here okay that's where the posterior stitching is that's where you stop you can see i'm not stitching here i'm not closing here i'm not also closing here okay you leave that part open just stitch along the part that I am pointing at at this point, then stop there and then don't stitch on these two parts, okay? So let's get that done and then we'll be right back. So this is what it looks like. As you can see, I have a stitch and please note that I use quarter of an inch to stitch. I'm still showing you exactly where I stitched and where I didn't stitch. So as you can see, I have this part open and I also have this part open, okay? So at this point, you can see I used a quarter of an inch. I'm going to be notching at all those cardinal points, okay, just so that by the time I turn over, it can relax. So at this point, I'm going to be turning everything inside out. So just watch exactly where I'm turning it through, okay? So at this point, you might find it a little bit, um, not it's not even difficult, but if you use lesser than two inches, it might be very difficult for you to turn over at that point. But 
if you use the two inches it will be much easier so i turned it outward and then i think the next thing i need to do now is to iron okay so that it will lay flat but before then i'm going to be closing this part and watch exactly how the placement is going to look like after i am done ironing the other side so to stitch the two parts together i open up like so i place the two points together please watch very closely so that you get the details of making this particular part so i stitch like so and after i have closed up all the parts this is what it looks like so i'm giving it a general press so that it will lay flat so this is what the two sides look like so i'm going to be placing it over like so and i get the back i'm going to be stitching across the shoulder slant and then i close up the sides as well okay so i've uh, stitch the shoulder and this is what it's looking like that's the front and the back together so at this point please watch very closely you can see that the front of the neckline is looking a little bit wider than the back okay it is common because i've made this uh, dress like two three times and i have the same result so it is common it's not because uh, of the uh, cutting of the neckline initially so what you do you just fold over like so that's the excess that you have at the front neckline okay just look for a way of just you know eliminating that and that's exactly what i'm doing so i'm going to be stitching it at the back like so so that it lays flat and then you know corresponds with the width of the back so at this point i'm done doing that and as you can see it's looking all flat and well laid okay and now that i have that well sorted the next thing i'm just going to remeasure the shoulder to make sure that i have the shoulder still intact so i'm going i'm just going to be trimming off you know the excesses that i need to take out you know just to make sure that i have everything accurate so that's basically it so the only thing left for me now is just to st uh, stitch the side using the body measurement and then the collar which is another important you know uh, step in this uh, dress making and then the sleeve as well the lower part i'm not going to be showing us anything about that it just cut your normal flare and then just go ahead okay so at this point i'm done stitching the side that is holding it to the body measurement and then i turn it inside out and this is what is looking like that the upper part of this dress is set um with the exception of the collar and the sleeve okay so basically now i'm going to be showing us how to go about the collar fixing so i measure out the neck uh, line round so it gives me it uh, sorry it gave me 18 inches i get my piece of fabric like so i place it on fold you can see i folded it into two and then from this center area i come up by three quarter of an inch okay so this is three quarter of an inch i come up and then for the uh, length i'll be the width of the neckline is 18 inches i divide by two okay which will give me nine inches plus half an inch so i'm going to be marking 9.5 at this point okay so i'm marking all the way up up to the you know the height that i want so i connect that point and then from this three quarter of an inch i'm going to be connecting to the base of the neckline like so using a curve rule, okay so at this center part i'm going to be marking three inches from that three quarter that i marked downward and then at this point i'm going to be marking four inches slanted outward like so just watch exactly what i am doing i don't know what to say exactly just will follow me and then i'm going to be connecting the two points together like so that three inches at the center with the four inches i'm going to be connecting that point so you can see exactly what i'm talking about so i have that connected and with this our uh, collar is set okay so i cut that out i'm going to be having two of this for the collar so i'm going to be cutting another one you know for this particular collar making it two and then i have my interfacing that my stay put on it so that you know, it will give you that firmness that the collar should have okay so i have that cut out and then this is what both of them look like and in the stitching of the collar what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be showing exactly how to go about that so i get i come to this point can you say i just leave half an inch and then i'm just what i'm chalking at this point that's where i'm going to be stitching okay i stitch just like so just pull exactly what you're seeing from this point and that's the way i'm going to be stitching i'm going to be leaving this point a uh, part open so after stitching this is what it looks like okay so i'm going to be notching the tips so that it's not um, giving me any funny look and then i turn it inside out after turning inside out you give it a good press and then after that this is what the collar looks like so it's time for us to attach this collar to the bodies so in doing that i just get the bodies of the dress and then i um, pick up one side of the collar okay not the two you can see this is why i left that half an inch at this point i just take one of them i'm going to be stitching it around you know the neckline of the dress like so then guys this is what the final look looks like i'm sorry i couldn't show you guys the stitching of the neckline and all that but i'm sure you shall understood what i did here so this is basically what the finished look look like and so thank you guys for watching and see you in my next one bye